Hi there, thank you so much for joining me on this quick care collab update on Renanthera Monachica. Today I'm joined by Gabriele Carson and What's Up Orchids. And I want to say thank you so much to those two channels for jumping on board on this very quick update because I reached out to them and said that mine was coming into bloom. Could we do an update? So here we are, Gabriele Carson and What's Up Orchids. Very quick update, Renanthera Monachica. I was expecting to have more blooms open as you do. Well, you can see that three have opened and there should have been five. Two nodes here blasted. Got two more buds to go, two more buds to go and something very interesting, the spike is wanting to extend. I've never seen that before. The spike had ended here but it's now shooting up an extension. So we'll have to wait and see what that does. But for now, I wanted to show you my Renanthera Monachica 2.0 blooms that are open, that haven't failed. And they are very, very beautiful. I'm extremely happy to still have this orchid in my collection because I call her 2.0 as she is my second one. I lost my first one last year just as she was coming into maturity and blooming for the first time after two years in my possession. Well, I immediately got a replacement and that is why this is Mona Chica 2.0. And true to form, she is losing leaves again. Now I'm gonna watch that spike in the back. I'm gonna try and do this correctly without breaking anything. This is the second leaf that is going. She's already lost one leaf since she started to open her blooms. Much the same thing that happened with my first Monachica a year ago. However, there is a difference this time. My leaves are fading from the tip to the base as opposed to the base to the tip. Which brings me to another thing that I have changed up. I have been extremely cautious on the fertilizer front. You can see here, for example, what I'm being really careful about. And this is a different reason why this beautiful root here failed the tip has gone black which is unfortunate because I was hoping it was going to do what this root did and go into the water as well that didn't happen because I touched it I don't know what it is about my hands or the oils on my hands that make roots fail I have to be so careful not to touch roots and that is my failure so that is why also I have been extremely cautious about fertilizing her to the degree that and the extent that I want to. Coupled with that, she now lives outside and that's why we're indoors today because the wind outside is horrendous. I've tied everything down, everything that I can so that nothing gets blown over or blown away. And as I stand here, I keep looking over to my deep south area where the unicorn umbrella is protecting my engracums. That's why we're indoors. There was not a single corner on the patio that isn't windy. High humidity orchid. Well, the minimum humidity she can tolerate, but not for too long is 40% humidity. Preferred is daily rainfall. And here I am now in May, and my humidity today is 13%. So I am misting her a lot, but I'm very, very cautious on fertilizing her. So whatever strength she is drawing, to get these blooms to open is coming from the leaves. That is my theory because I don't see anything else about this orchid that is showing me other signs of worry. And I'm also letting all this foliage grow now around the orchid top and into the media and there's more moss coming. All of that I'm letting happen because one thing is me touching a root and ruining it like here Another thing is that the roots now coming for the next four months are going to be really, really taxed regarding my low humidity. And if I then add fertilizer to that, I'm very concerned. However, I have now at night gone around misting the base of the orchid top. And I have overnight fertilizer solution in here. First of all, I've started with calcium, magnesium and seaweed overnight and then during the day when I missed again I take my sprayer and I really flush out whatever is in the reservoir down here with my sprayer and replace that with fresh RO water so 
my fertilizer regime has changed for this one because of the conditions that I'm experiencing outside. I really don't want to lose another Monotica. Things, you know, in the past I didn't mind, oh, I'm going to buy a replacement. But that was before 2020. Things have changed now, so it's a nervous time that if I lose another orchid, I may have to then say, I can't get this one because I'm getting others or which one's more important. This one is super important, but she's not becoming that easy to find in Europe anymore. Four years ago, no problem. Now, it's a little bit more difficult. But look at her beautiful, beautiful blooms. And this is why I want her in my collection. This is just, I mean, she's not fragrant, by no means fragrant. But these blooms are so, oh goodness. In a way, I really wish I had forgotten how pretty these blooms are. But on the other hand, I have a Mona Chica in bloom. And then you look at them and you're just like, oh, I'm so glad I got you. You know, Renanthera Mona Chica, recently I actually read about her, is called the Spanish Dancing Lady. So we have Oncidium Dancing Ladies, and now we have Spanish Dancing Lady, Renanthera Spanish Dancing Lady. And I would say that is fitting, but I still like my carnival bell-bottom little outfit going here. The, the blousy, you know, the big blousy polka-dotted bell-bottoms of the carnivals, like the guys that are on the stilts as they go past you in a parade. That is what these remind me of. Very, very pleased to see that at least I have some blooms and very pleased that she is still with me. No more leaf drop, please, Mona Chica. I don't need the stress. And super interesting to see an extending spike. Whether that has anything to do with a calcium magnesium additive, I do not know. But I'll take it and we can also watch and see what happens with that. Again, I thought this was quick and I'm already up to seven almost eight minutes. I do apologize, but I, I get so excited when I see beautiful things and it makes it nicer to share with you when other channels say, go on then, hers are in bloom. Let's jump on and show our Renanthera as well. Appreciate it very, very much, Gabriella Carson and What's Up Orchid for doing this update together with me. Seems a bit strange to do these Care Collab updates on my own, but Really appreciate your time and please everybody check out the links in the description below and see how their Ren and Thera Chicas are doing in their specific environments. I'm in southern Spain, very, very dry conditions and everybody else has different growing environments. I find it really interesting what one orchid is doing as opposed to the others and I hope that you will find that interesting as well. Appreciate your time. Thank you so very, very much for watching. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. And please stay safe. Take care. Bye.